with Dustin Ortiz loss was really close, and the other fight you were winning and just kind of fell into your team. How does it feel to get back? Oh man, of course it feels great. You know, I'm a martial artist. Uh, I understand a lot of this is a growing process, and I, I haven't done a whole lot of losing growing up. So, uh, you know, you never want to say it's good to lose, but it's definitely uh, it's been two of the biggest learning experiences in my life. And then taking a little time off and, and just uh, kind of gathering myself and uh, really just objectively looking at myself and being like, okay, Justin, this is what you need to work on. This is what you need to do. You know what I mean? Instead of, uh, I feel like a lot of times I was going in there too focused on winning a fight and just going in there and putting my artwork on display, which is, I felt like I did a better job of that today. Was there a lot of pressure knowing that you had lost two in a row? Did you think about you know the possibility of getting cut or anything like that going into this fight? Man, of course. You know, you know how the UFC is cutthroat, man. They have to be. We're the best fighters in the world. So uh, if you don't perform, I mean, that's it. And uh, my last two fights, you know, even though I felt like, you know, the beginning of the fights I had good performances, I looked good and everything, it's all about winning in this sport, especially in the UFC. So, uh, you know, there, I didn't put any unadded pressure on myself. I know what I'm capable of. I, I truly believe I'm the best fighter in the world. I mean, that, no, 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 I take that back. I don't look, I don't look at myself as if I'm the best martial artist in the world. There's a difference between a fighter and a martial artist. And to me, I'm the best martial artist in the world. Martial arts is a philosophy. Martial arts is about encompassing that perfect balance of body and mind. And uh, I'm not there yet, but I'm working at it every day to make sure that my body and my mind are on an even playing field and then I'm constantly progressing myself in that way. Since you have your own style and it's different from other people, is it hard for you to watch other fights and not kind of want to take that? You know, you watch a boxer and think, oh, I want to absorb a little bit of that, but you also want to keep your own style. Yours is unique in its own way. Well, I'll tell you this, Bruce Lee said it best, the best style is no style. Uh, I, uh, I like to go in there and uh, I like to flow, you know what I mean? I don't like to go in there and be like, all right, uh, I got a good jab, I'm going to use this jab the whole time, you know what I mean? I'm going to go in there and I'm going I'm to take the fight as it comes to me and I'm going to be well versed in every aspect, so no matter where the fight goes, I'm going to be able to adapt, I'm going to be able to flow through and make it all look like a one big piece of beautiful art. Did they stitch you up backstage? How, how bad is that cut there? Oh, it's not too bad. I caught a little headbutt at the end. Uh, uh, dude, Josh was tough, man. I, I landed some, some hard shots on him, I felt, and he, he kept eating them and coming through. So uh, there's one exchange, I think uh, we were both slipping and maybe our heads collided a little bit, but uh, he didn't hit me or anything, I don't think. <laughs> you talked about needing to have those losses and get a chance to sort of regroup and think about it. Do you look back now and think maybe it was a little too quick, too soon, too confident? To sort of just get on that roll and think, as you said. I'm the best there is, I'm a little bit unstoppable. You needed that to sort of put you in check and, and get you reset. Uh, it, it, uh, you know, as a, as a martial artist, I'll, I'll take any fight, you know what I mean? That's why I have a good group of uh, managers around me so I can let them, because you know, if you come to me tomorrow and you're like, hey, you know, you want to fight for the 145 pound title, I'm gonna be like, well, hell yeah, let's do it. You know what I mean? That's my mentality. So, uh, you know, it's not so much as I felt like I was being rushed, but I, uh, I was kind of getting in the mindset where I was just thinking about winning, which is not, I didn't get, of course I want to win, but I want to go in there and I want to I want to see the evolution of myself each time. I want to see myself not growing as just a fighter, but growing as a person and, and being the best Justin Scoggins I can be. Talk about those kicks that you landed, because you, land, you did land some hard kicks. Were you surprised that he kind of, he took them and kept coming and he was like, damn, what I to do to get rid of him? Yeah, man, I was landing those kicks hard and every time I'd land one, I was like, do I know that, I heard it, man, but he kept coming forward. So it's like, all right, well, just keep moving, you know, keep moving, keep kicking him, he'll keep eating them and either he'll fall or I'll just, you know, beat him down or something. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.